Hey everybody, Joe Linder with joesphenomenal.com here and welcome to another video. Gaius Young from Sujilay reached out to us last week and asked if we would be willing to review their oven mitts. So I asked him to send one over and we'd be happy to take care of that and that has come in today. That's a good thing and uh... Well that package actually came in today so we haven't even opened that up. We're going to open that up on camera. Going to do a quick rundown of it and its features. And then we're going to basically use the magic of video to cut ahead after I've had a chance to test it a little bit. And I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so here we go. Came in an Amazon package today. So let's check this out and see what we got in here. Okay, so it looks like he sent me a pair of oven mitts here. Uh, Sujilary is the name of the company, and they actually, some of the features of them is they have a silicone grip. So it's actually silicone here. It's supposed to be good up to 500 degrees. They're actually pretty long. They come up, you can see that, that comes up mid forearm. So it's going to be really good for the oven, especially if you're broiling stuff. Get your arm all the way in there and uh, you're not going to worry about burning your forearm. Some of the shorter gloves, especially some of the ones that I have, if the oven's really hot and you're putting your arm in there, if it's in there for more than a few seconds, then you start really getting hot on your forearm and you have to get it out of there. They actually measure six and a quarter inches wide and 12 and a half inches long. So they are plenty long enough here. Um, I've got pretty big hands and they do seem to fit. Actually, they fit my hands pretty nice. I've used a lot of oven mitts like these before and they, they've always felt kind of funny, not quite very comfortable. They've got hook eyelets right here in the sides, which is nice if you're gonna try to hang that from something. I typically just throw them in a drawer, but you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, and the price range looks like on, this, on the Sujilary website, they're about 15 bucks a pair, I believe. Like I said, they're supposed to be good up to... <laughs> like I said before, these are supposed to be good up to 500 degrees and they feature a non-slip grip get you a nice good look of these here all around it's a nice quilted fabric on here too they open nice and wide construction on them seems really solid all the stitching's nice I'm not seeing any threads hanging loose or anything like that I like the color too kind of like it because uh, I'm a little bit biased you know so the text on our videos is kind of that color Okay, then all there is left to do is to heat these suckers up and see how they perform. Well, I say what better way of testing out some oven mitts than making some steak au poivre. Using the cast iron skillet, so that's gonna be nice and hot. Gonna heat up some bacon fat here. Get that nice and hot, and I've got the oven preheated for 500 degrees. That way we're gonna get this thing pretty scorched and hot, getting these steaks ready. And then I'm going to throw them in the oven to finish them. And if I could pull them out of the oven and don't burn the heck out of my hand, then we're looking pretty good because that's what these guys are for. By the way, that's a pretty good hack if you want to learn to make some really nice steaks. Just cook a little bit of bacon in your pan, leave the oil from the bacon in there, and then use that to cook your steaks. Then you got steaks cooked in bacon fat. That is delicious. Okay, I'm going to try to cram all these in here because we want to make this pan as heavy as possible. Just for fun, we're going to try to do this whole thing with the mitt on. Typically with a mitt like this, you don't have as much dexterity as you have in your fingers with the ones that are individual fingers. But this actually, it's, it's pretty bendable. It's pretty nice. I actually kind of like this. Normally, the silicone area here is really hard. So it's really hard to form your fingers around it and grab stuff, but so far, this doesn't really seem to be the case. Okay, our oven's at 500 degrees. Let's get these guys in here. 
Yeah, this thing is really heavy. This should be a good test when this thing heats up. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some kitchen tips and tricks, and all sorts of other cool kitchen related things, including reviews, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Okay, now for the real test. We've had the steaks in the cast iron in the oven at 500 degrees for about 10 minutes. And that's after I already pan seared the steaks and heated that cast iron up pretty good in the first place. Last time I did that with my regular gloves, I almost burned my hands trying to get the thing out of the oven. So we're gonna see if these fare any better. Well, pretty good actually, really good. That right there, I was not able to do that with my regular gloves. Okay, full disclosure guys, Sujulary actually sent these oven mitts out to me, which means I didn't purchase them for myself. And the first time I've ever used them was actually for this test. It doesn't affect the way I review things on this channel, but I figured it'd be a good idea just to let you know. Okay, so the conclusions on the Sujulary oven mitts. They look pretty nice. The construction seems pretty good. I can't really vouch for that too much because I haven't really had them very long and I haven't had a chance to really run them through the ringer. But I was looking at the stitching and everything on them. Everything looks really good. There's no hanging threads or anything like that. So it looks like they'll hold together pretty well. The material the oven mitts are made out of is a combination of silicone and cotton. Obviously the silicone is for the hot surfaces. The cotton is for comfort, which is the rest of the body of the mitten. Remember that cotton is flammable, so if you're using a broiler and you've got your arm in there, don't get your arm too close to the broiler unit or you can catch the glove on fire. These gloves are advertised to take up to 500 degrees of heat. I pan seared four steaks in the cast iron skillet, which makes that skillet weigh pretty close to 25 pounds. And then I threw it in the oven at 500 degrees for 10 minutes. And I didn't have any problem with heat bleeding through the glove. That's pretty good considering the glove that I normally use, I can't do that. I have to use both hands to distribute the weight because it's heavy enough to where that heat just bleeds right through the glove onto my hand and it starts to burn me pretty much right away. So that's a big plus for these guys. The silicone portions are soft, much softer than a lot of the other gloves that I've used in the past, meaning that you can still, you can still grip things and it doesn't feel like you've got like this brick on your hand and you're not able to use your fingers very well. It actually bends and folds pretty nicely. I was pretty impressed with that. And last but not least, they do come up quite a bit on your arm, which is really good because my other gloves only come up to about here. So it means all back over here, I'm getting burned. All in all, I think at that price point, these are very, very good oven mitts. They don't perform the best that I've ever seen, but I've had oven mitts before that I've used that, have, that were really expensive and full silicone and there's no heat getting through those, but they were also very uncomfortable to wear as well. If you'd like to learn more about Sujulary oven mitts, I've posted a link to their Amazon page in the description of this video. Well, I thank you very much for watching this video. And if you'd like to learn more information about my company, you can visit us online at joesphenomenal.com or you can check back here on the channel every so often because we upload content very frequently. Once again, my name is Joe Linder and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.